Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. Joining us this morning is Tracy Sullivan, a registered nurse and stroke program administrator. Thank you so much for being here. How are you this morning, Tracy? Great. Thank you so much for having me. We are so delighted that you're here. Thank you. So this morning, we are talking about a very important topic, the signs of a stroke that you should not ever ignore. Tracy, let's start off with the basics. What is a stroke? Well, there's a couple different kinds of stroke. So we have what's called an ischemic stroke, or that's the blockage stroke, meaning that there's something in that vessel that's causing blood flow to the brain. And then we have what's called a hemorrhagic stroke, and those are the bleeding strokes, where um, there's a part of the brain that's actually bleeding. We also have um, what are called TIAs. A lot of people know those as mini strokes or transient ischemic attacks. And um, those are really warning signs. Um, they're not full strokes, yeah. but that is um, your body's way of saying, hey, um, there's something going on. You need to get to a hospital right away. And get checked out, yeah. Now, Tracy, when we talk about a stroke, there are certain signs and symptoms that we really should watch out for. Yes, there are. So at Covenant, we like to use the acronym BFAST, um, picking up some different areas in the brain. I know everyone's very familiar with FAST, but we yes. like to use um, the BE, which uh, the B stands for balance. So if you or you see someone that's having a difficult time with walking, they're dizzy, um, that could be a sign of stroke. Um, the E stands for eyes. So you could have some vision loss. You could have blurred vision. Um, and of course, the face um, is the F. So we are seeing a facial droop. One side of the face is um, sinking down. Um, when they smile, their smile could be uneven. Um, arms is the A, so if you hold your arms out and one is drifting down, or the leg too, mm -hmm. or you have some weakness or some tingling or numbness in that arm or leg. Um, the S stands for speech, so you could have slurred speech. Um, you might not just not be making sense, getting mm -hmm. all of your words out, or being unable to identify um, easy objects like a pen or a clock or your phone. Um, and then the T stands for time because time is brain. So we want you to come to the nearest stroke center. I love that acronym, be fast. That helps you remember that. So if we see a loved one or a friend or someone who is having some of these balance issues or eye problems, you know, what do you do with that? If you see these symptoms happening right in front of your eyes. So we want everyone to call 911 immediately. Um, they will go ahead and um, get you assessed for um, if you are having a stroke or not and get things started and get you to the nearest stroke center, which is where you need to be. And Tracy, it's so important to do this right away. Acting fast is important. Why is that, Tracy? Well, if you get to the hospital um, within four and a half hours and you qualify for a medication that we have, um, we do have an option where we can administer this medicine and it can help dissolve the clot. So um, getting to, this, to the nearest stroke center um, helps us go ahead, see if you qualify for this and really get you the medication or the treatment that you need. I love that. So recognize the VFAST acronym and then make sure you call 911 as soon as you can. Now, some strokes, Tracy, are preventable as well. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that's the good news. 80% um, of stroke uh, can be prevented. Uh, we know that uncontrolled um, high blood pressure is the number one cause of stroke. So making sure that you're taking your medications properly um, and following up with your doctor if you do have hypertension. High cholesterol is another one. Watching your diet, watching what you eat and drink, um, making sure that you're taking your medication for that. Um, so diabetes, yes. again, medication, diet, um, obesity. Um, so there's a lot of fat things yeah. in our lives that we can do to help uh, prevent the risk of stroke. Yes, we definitely want to reduce the risk of stroke. Those are great tips. Thank you, Tracy. Well, on to some exciting news now, Tracy. Covenant recently won an award for its high quality stroke care for the third year in a row. Congratulations, what an honor. Tell us about that award. Thank you. Actually, uh, it's a two-in-one award, so we're, uh, we're pretty excited here. Um, one of one part of the award is for um, our stroke care. The American Heart Association um, 
puts out guidelines for all stroke hospitals to meet with their patients. So um, we, for the third year in a row, have uh, met these guidelines, and that's just really a testament to our our commitment yes. uh, to the community and to stroke and taking care of these patients. And the other part of the award was um, meeting this medication that I talked about earlier, TPA, and just administering that quickly. So mm. um, we all get timed. That's a timed medication. And um, when we meet that goal, um, we get an award for that. So I'm very proud of our team here at Covenant. You should be. Congratulations to the entire team. And we are so lucky to have you all in our backyard to know that if we have a stroke or you need care or anything that you are available for us. Tell us Tracy is there anything else that you'd like to add about strokes or stroke care that we haven't covered? I think the most important thing with stroke is realizing that it can be prevented. Yes. So making sure that people are knowing what their risk factors are, really having that conversation with your um, physician. Um, if you have had a previous stroke or a TIA, um, really then making sure that you are taking the medications that you need and um, doing that follow-up care and everyone recognizing yeah. the signs and symptoms of stroke. I think a lot of people will, um, oh, I, I feel dizzy yeah. or, um, you know, my, my vision is blurred so they want to go back to bed or they want to take an aspirin and it's just making sure that you get to the hospital immediately that's right so if you recognize these signs and symptoms in a loved one make sure you call 911 immediately Tracy first of all again congratulations for your award and thank you for coming by and giving us this important important information about strokes thank you so much Thank you. You're welcome. If you'd like any additional information on today's topic, just head on over to the Hotlinks page at WNEM.com.